Have you heard these messages before? In this video, I'm going to make all your problems disappear. Well, maybe not all your problems. I'm going to make that problem disappear because in this video, I'm going to show you how to split your audio channel so you can control your game, your microphone, your discord, your music, anything you want separately. So you never have to see those messages again. And no, you don't need expensive gear like a Go XLR or a Wave microphone. You don't even need any extra software like Voice Meter or the Elgato Wave Link software. This can all be done just in OBS. Oh, and there's a little golden tip at the end, which most people don't know, but make your channel so much more discoverable. So make sure to stick around for that. Okay, I have a brand new OBS install here. And before we start anything, we need to open up the settings. Go to the audio tab and for the desktop audio, set it to disabled and do the same with your mic aux audio. Then click apply and click OK. Don't worry, we are going to add them back in in just a second, but this will give you control. Now we're going to add each of the audio sources you want to add. Your game, your microphone, Discord, Spotify, alerts, browsers, it doesn't matter. But imagine having to add that to each scene you want these on. That would be so much work. Besides, you would have to change all these sources every time you want to make one simple change. No. We are creating control. So to give the best form of control, we are going to need three different scenes for this approach. The first scene we are going to make is stream audio, then monitor audio, and lastly, combined audio. We are going to start off in the audio combined, and there we are going to add two new scene sources, the stream audio and the monitor audio. This way, you can just add the combined audio scene into every scene you want to have your audio in, and you can still control them without any issue. Now head into your stream audio and add an application audio beta. I know it says it's still in beta, but this feature has been with us for a while now, and I have never had a single complaint using these. If you do get into trouble with this particular setup, then make sure to drop it to the Discord, link in the description below, and the Content Delta Gurus and I will try and troubleshoot you through the process. With the application audio capture open, choose the application you want, Discord.exe for example, and set window match priority to match title, otherwise find window of same type and just press OK. The reason you want to set it up like this is because the title of the executable changes depending on which channel you are in on Discord or which song you are listening to on Spotify. Oh, and if you can't see the application you are trying to capture, then make sure you have it open, else it can't find it. The source can't find applications that are not opened, but don't worry, because of how we set it up, it will always try and find the same application again when you open OBS. Now let's also do that for Spotify and Chrome and everything else we want to get our hands on. Once you've done that, it will look somewhat like this, but you are not done yet because you can't hear any of the stream audio yet. To make sure you can hear it as well, open up the advanced audio setting by clicking the cogs and set each of these to monitor and output. There's only one problem because now you run the risk that your audience can hear everything perfectly but you can't hear your teammates or that sneaky opponent around the corner that is ready to ambush you. So to take it one step further, we are going to imitate the most powerful feature of the Elgato Wave software, submixes. Submixes allow you to take your audio and listen to it at a different volume than your stream can hear. But to do this, we are going to need an OBS plugin called Source Clone by the one and only master of plugins, Exceldro. To get this, head to the link I left in the description below and install it. Once installed, you can restart your OBS and find a new source called Source Clone. Now we are going to head into Monitor Audio Scene and then we are going to add a Source Clone. For the Source Clone, select the application audio capture you want to clone. Again, we are going for Discord, but you can do this with every single one of them. Now you have two input sources for each of your applications. And instead of setting one of them to monitor and output in the advanced audio properties, we are going to set the originals to monitor off 
and the monitor ones to monitor only. As you can see, we can now lower the volume of Discord out to the stream differently from what we hear in our headset. If you can't hear anything in your headset, then make sure to check your audio settings one more time and set your monitoring device to your headset. Click apply and then OK. There is no need for fancy audio equipment at all. Just a single OBS plugin and all that can be done. This is great for when you are in an intense gaming session or you want to listen to music while you are gaming, but don't want your stream to hear you listen to, oh, I don't know, Taylor Swift. But sometimes your game can suddenly become very, very loud. For example, if you are in a firefight and you want to make sure the game doesn't overpower your voice in those moments. Go into your game audio and click filters. Then add a compressor and set your ratio to 4 to 1. And set the threshold to 10 decibels under where your voice normally is. Then set the sidechain or ducking source to your microphone. Now, whenever you are talking and the game is too loud, it will automatically lower the sounds of the game so you can be heard over it. Do all these things and you will make your channel so much more discoverable and enjoyable for viewers that they might even come back later to watch your VODs. Or even watching your VOD to see who you are and if they want to find you when you are live. But could you imagine watching the VOD and having your experience disturbed every time an alert goes off? I personally watch VODs on the side and alerts distract me from what I'm doing, so I prefer not to have any alerts in them. But how do you do this? Well, you can remove alerts, music and all the other sounds from your VODs while still keeping them on your stream. To do this, open your OBS settings and go to output. Write down all the settings or take a screenshot and then switch from simple to advanced mode. After making sure you reset the bitrate and the encoder to what it was before you switched, click the Twitch VOD track and set it to 2. Now go back to your stream audio and find your alerts. If your alerts are in a different scene, then you know, find them there. Go into your advanced audio properties, find your alerts and untick the track that you just made your VOD track and close it again. This way your stream can hear all the alerts and react to them live, but the alert audio is taken away completely out of your VODs. And this works for everything, Discord, game sound, music. All you need to do is untick the box next to the two giving your viewers the best audio experience on your stream. And as you know, good audio is 80% of your stream. However, there is one more piece of equipment that this does not save. Your microphone. Being able to control your microphone and not having people leave because you sound like you're running a chainsaw in an abandoned bathroom is... important. So if you want to set your microphone up for success, then check out the video I made right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.